I sound a uh, what? A bad statistics. That mean what? Take this mental mental illness. Illness. Who gets married into a Pakistani family to get Indian? To get Indian. It just felt like the uh, lighting. The twelfth book. Uh, that is the first in the throne. If you'd like to buy any of these books, please this books. Please use my Amazon Amazon. The fourth book. <laughs> hey guys, this is Sonali, the melodramatic bookworm. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with the most disappointing reads of 2018. I thought I'll do a little, you know, wrap up sort of things for the books that I thought I would like, but I didn't quite like. Of the 140 plus books that I read this year, about 10% of those books disappointed me i won't be going into much detail about these books because i've already described them and talked about them in my wrap-up videos this entire year so i'll just give a quick overview of the books in question and uh, just a couple of reasons why i didn't like them so without further ado let's get into this video and let me share with you all the books that disappointed me in 2018. the first book that heavily disappointed me was the woman in the window by aj finn it's supposed to be a psychological thriller of sorts and uh, the protagonist in the book is suffering from a mental illness and she just can't be among people. She just can't get out of a house because of that mental disorder. You would think that the author would take this mental illness and uh, spin it into a story that would literally bring you goosebumps and whatnot. But, and I just found the writing to be repetitive and fragmented and it seemed confused with itself. It didn't know what to do, it felt like. But I'll be fair and say that in some places I did like the writing. And just for that, I gave The Woman in the Window 3 out of 5 stars. The second book that disappointed me in 2018 was Loving by Daniel Steele. I'd heard so much about Daniel Steele and that she writes female-centric stories with amazing, you know, romance in them. And I just feel like Loving was not the book to get started with Daniel Steele books. Because Loving had a protagonist that is sort of a stereotype of an old age woman who sort of thinks that the only way to get ahead in life is to get the love of your life so she keeps marrying over and over again and somehow it didn't sit well with me and i was so disappointed i didn't want to go ahead but it is my policy that i never abandon a book halfway through however bad it is though i've rectified it in the past couple of weeks i gave it two out of five stars the third book that disappointed me in 2018 was a classic children's fairy tale called Peter Pan by J.M. Barry and I can't even begin to tell you how misogynistic I found the fairy tale to be because if that's the kind of thing that children grow up listening to they'll think it's okay for women to just be relegated to the household they'll think that women are meant to just you know be in the kitchen and they are meant to just clean the house and feed the men in the family and that's it. That's the biggest problem I have with Peter Pan. I know there are so many people who love it even, but I gave Peter Pan 2 out of 5 stars. The fourth book that disappointed me in 2018 was Calling Sehmat by Harinder Sikka. This is the story of an Indian teenage girl who gets married into a Pakistani family, Pakistani army family, to get intelligence for India. The Bollywood movie Razi was based on this and though I had problems with Razi too, I had more problems with the book because I felt like it didn't capture the emotions of the spy who was in Pakistan and he was doing so much for the country. It just felt like the writing was lazy and didn't want to go ahead in any sense. At one point it just started to become tiresome to read the book but most of all I didn't think that calling Sehmat did any kind of justice to Sehmat Khan who risked so much for her country because of and despite the shortcomings I gave calling Sehmat 3 out of 5 stars. The fifth book in this list is a book called A Girl Like That by Tanaz Bhatena and this is another book that I felt sort of objectified women even though its intention was not that I'll give it that. It is set in Saudi Arabia but for a book like this, it needs to shatter stereotypes and it needs to rise above all of those. I agree that maybe it just wants to show the truth as it is, but just because a girl is trying to de-stress herself, that does not mean she goes just to smoking and, and sleeping with boys. See, all that I'm not judging, but doing just that over and over and over again in the entirety of the story is not something that will appeal. Moreover, all the guys in the story, every single one of them except just one person is a proper arse. How is that even possible? Don't tell me there's just one decent guy in this whole world. 
I gave a girl like that three out of five stars. Book number six on this list is The Sun and a Flask by Rupi Kaur. I had actually liked Milk and Honey when I read it earlier this year and I was pretty defensive about that book because I thought people were being very harsh on Rupi Kaur and on her works and I quite liked some of the poems she had in Milk and Honey but this book I don't feel like defending. It feels a tad bit forced and pretentious in places and that is why I didn't like this as much as I wanted to. Despite all of this, I did give it 3 out of 5 stars because there are quite a few, um, I won't call it poetry in this one, but maybe 2 liners and 4 liners which actually make a lot of sense. The seventh book that disappointed me this year was Bridget Jones' Mad About the Boy by Helen Fielding. I read the first two books earlier this year and even though I wasn't that disappointed by the first one, I quite liked the second and that is the reason why I bought this book. So when I actually read through this, I found it so stupid. What is even going on in this book? What are you trying to write? Are you out of your mind? It doesn't even make sense. She just meets someone suddenly and four days later she's in love with them. That's not how it works. I thought the series was going to progress after the second book but it only going down 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 so because of that i gave this book two and a half out of five stars book number eight on this list is a book by an author that i never thought would make make it to a list like this the book in question is honor among thieves and the author is of course jeffrey archer though honor among thieves has its moment it just isn't that level of Jeffrey Archer that I have gotten so used to. There's no thrill, there's no wow factor in the book. Yes, the language is great, but on the whole, it doesn't make for some very amazing reading. And I was so disappointed in it because it was Jeffrey Archer we were talking about. And imagine me getting disappointed with Jeffrey Archer. And I still gave it three and a half out of five stars. And that is the level at which I expect Jeffrey Archer to be. The ninth book on this list is Poonachi, The Story of a Black Coat by Perumal Murugan. I've been seeing this everywhere and people that I actually share a few interests with actually said that this book was a great read. See, I will say that this book is important because uh, it has quite a few analogies between how the goat is seen, the story of the goat, the story of Poonachi and a woman in Indian society. But then it was not at the level that I was expecting it to be. I wanted more and I just couldn't seem to get there. And though I was quite disappointed with how the book turned out, I think the last few pages actually turned it around from a 3 to a 4. And that's saying something. The 10th book that disappointed me this year was Home Fire by Camilla Shamsi. Throughout the first half and even maybe about 70% into the book, I actually loved it. I loved the writing. But then the characters were being very annoying. They were being very high ho and mighty and whatnot. And the way the book ended, it sort of blew my mind in a bad way. Like I simply exploded when that happened. And I don't, didn't know how else to react because I was really angry with how the story progressed. Actually regressed actually, it didn't progress anywhere. It got worse till the end and I don't know, I just felt like why was I even reading this book? I was expecting so much from this book and I was left disappointed at the end of it all. But still, because of that first 50% or so, 50 to 70% of the uh, book which I actually enjoyed the writing, I gave it 3 out of 5 stars. Book number 11 on this list is The Blind Assassin by Margaret Atwood and I must say this is so annoying this book like it doesn't go ahead there's so much fluff in there like unnecessary stuff and knowing Margaret Atwood and the hype that she has like I've heard people sing pains to her and it is because of that that I bought this book in the first place when I saw it I simply snapped it up but I was so disappointed at the end of it all like 100 150 pages in I was like what is going on why do I have to go through this and I left it alone for a long time before finishing it in December. I gave The Blind Assassin 2 out of 5 stars. The 12th book that disappointed me in 2018 was one that I read in December. I actually started it at the end of November and finished it in December and that is the first in the Throne of Glass series which is called Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas and I was so disappointed with the way there was nothing going on over there. I sound like an Irishman but 
there was nothing going on in them there's nothing much selena sardothian is a feared assassin and all she does is giggle and simper and what not dorian haviliard is the crown prince and keol westfall is the captain of the guard selena is brought back from endovia a slave mine to compete in a competition so that she can become the king's champion i think there's a pattern over here because all it does is selena trains and then dorian goes to meet her in her chambers then keol goes to meet her in her chambers and then selena passes a test then again the same thing happens but this time he sees dorian and jealousy flares and he pulls him out and then selena wins a test and then again the same thing happens but like what is the whole point the, the characters are so weak and the storyline it just doesn't progress at all i just grudgingly gave it a 3 out of 5 because in some places the writing was too good and in some others i didn't like it at all but appreciation must be given where it's due because Sarah J Maas apparently she wrote this when she was 16 but that doesn't stop it from being one of my most disappointing reads of 2018. I bought this because Kingdom of Ash was releasing the last in that series and I can't believe I have to go through seven more books. So all I can hope for is that the remaining books are better than this one. The 13th and last book on this series technically should not be here because I actually loved it. but the reason it is here it's because i didn't love it as much as i was led to believe so that was a little disappointing the book in question is aristotle and dante discover the secrets of the universe by benjamin alire science and though it's an important book i just didn't think that it was as good as so many other booktubers bookstagrammers and people who were reading it everywhere in reading groups on fb i didn't think it was that great like i was expecting fireworks and all i got was a little couple of sparks here and there having said that this one is a very important book i agree because same sex relationships are still not at the level that we want them to be and the world is a hypocritical place yes we know so we need more stories like this to make it into a place where everything is considered normal because it should be so those were the books that disappointed me heavily in 2018 which ones have you read which ones do you want to read which which books disappointed you in 2018 let me know in the comments below i'd love to hear from you if you'd like to buy any of these books please use the amazon affiliate links in the description box below the price remains the same for you but i get a small commission off of every purchase that you make if you like this video you know what to do please like it and share it to spread the word and if you like my content and would like to see more from me and would like to keep up with me don't forget to hit subscribe and click on the bell icon beside the subscribe button to get notified as and when i post new videos thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video until next time keep reading keep watching and add melodrama to your life